All right, so these are some of the results I've gotten with this technique I'm about to show you, um, sending images via audio. I just recently started experimenting with trying to send color images through audio, through an audio file, meaning basically you're able to send it through radio. And I recently have figured it out. Here's the image I'm gonna be using. So basically what you're gonna do is you, you're gonna take your image, put it into GIMP. Uh, I chose GIMP because it already has the, because I already know how to do it in GIMP. Um, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna uh, open up the image, just place it, just drag it in. You're gonna go to color, you're gonna go to uh, components, and then decompose. Uh, and it, you're just gonna select RGB, and it'll turn into this. Uh, you'll get three images here. So you're gonna export as, you're gonna click on, uh, you know, name it as whatever, and you're gonna have the extension of ORA. You're gonna right click. Uh, you're gonna go. To, well, you're gonna have to use 7-Zip for this. Uh, I tried using WinRAR; it didn't work properly. But you can extract the file here, and you can click on Yes to All. Also, you know, extract them and replace them. Uh, you can see the previous file I did and the current one. Zero 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 is always gonna be um, red. Zero zero one is always gonna be green, and zero zero two is always gonna be blue. It's always red, green, blue. So you're gonna rename it if you want. Uh, I personally do that. So you're going to go to this website and you're going to click on choose file and you're going to select red first or whatever you want to start with first. So there's where uh, my, my personal best settings uh, is 900 pixels up here, um, 900 px. And then length set that to 15 and then density set it to 3. It'll be a little, it'll seem a little bit choppy. It'll seem like a 240 video. So yeah, now that you've gotten these settings, 15, 3, uh, 22000 uh, 900x uh, or px or f pixels you can click on uh, you know you select it and then you click on create from full image this will create it from the entire frame and then you're gonna click on play you can see the brightness here it probably isn't right uh, you're gonna want it to match up very closely with this but because of the high contrast it's gonna be hard to do so you, you know you're gonna have to make a sacrifice uh, so you either want you know the house to be visible and have the uh, and have the sky messed up, or you're gonna you know get the sky to look beautiful because like I mean look, come on look at that that's really what we're trying to capture here with the you know good you know orange glow uh, and you can make the house lose detail so you know you have to make a sacrifice. Um, I'm personally gonna capture the detail of the sky and I'm gonna try and match it perfectly with this or as close as I can. So you can download the image as and it will be this is red. So you're just gonna download it as red. I, I'm gonna replace the file. You're then going to you know do the same thing, but with red, green, and then you're gonna create the image again. And then you're going to reset it and play it. And you're gonna right click and copy the image again. And we're gonna do this for all three. So now that you've uh, created the three files, you're just gonna drag them in here. Um, you're gonna click on new, 1920 by 1080. And then you're going to drag the, the files in. And then you can delete the background. This guy doesn't need to be here. And then you can just right click, go to scale layer, and you're going to set it to 1920 by 1080. 1920, de link this by 1080. Now, what you're able to do is you're able to just simply, um, you got to click on this, got to click on color, go to components, and then click on compose. And then you're going to select the right ones. This is why I colored them, because you're able to see the name here. So you're able to select red for the red one, uh, green, and then blue. You can change the brightnesses if you want, but I'm not going to be doing that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this small experiment. Um, I know it was pretty fun for me, uh, experimenting with this. And I don't know, I think it just it's just pretty cool being able to transmit images via audio. So yeah, I mean... Hope you enjoyed.